Hey there, friend. Welcome to Live With Ease. My name is Julia, and it's my mission to help as many people as I can unravel tension and pain through nurturing and mindful movement to discover life and movement with ease. Okay, so in today's practice, it's going. To, we are going to focus on um, a practice for gardeners or gardening. So this is a great way to um, prepare your body for your long day of gardening to help free up the joints, soften the tissues, just to help you um, find a little more ease in this uh, strenuous activity, can be strenuous. And also um, it's a great practice to do post gardening um, to help unravel any tension that's been gathered from, again, the activities of pulling weeds, gardening, staying hunched over in squats for uh, lengthy periods of time. Okay, so a few things you'll need by choice. You don't have to use them, but uh, maybe have two blocks on hand or if you have some books you want to stack um, to use as blocks, we'll use them for our lunge if you need them. Some people need them, some people don't. It's all good. Um, a strap or a belt and um, a, an, a bolster or a cushion. I use sometimes just use pull a, pull a pillow off the couch and it's ticky boo perfect. It does the trick. Okay, so those are some suggested props. If you'd like to use them, great. If not, no worries. But we will start resting back, knees bent, soles of the feet on the ground with the bolster or pillow under your pelvis. So let's begin resting on our backs, placing the bolster or your pillow underneath the pelvis, and really allowing the weight of the pelvis to fall and settle settle and fall into your support so either the bolster or the pillow getting nice and cozy keeping the knees bent with the soles of the feet on the ground let the soles of the feet rest settle and sink into the earth to the ground. And then when you're ready, we're going to draw the legs into the abdomen, giving them a nice hug. And then you can gently rock the legs side to side. You can take hold above or behind the knees and then let's release the left foot onto the ground and take that right foot or right leg extending that right leg up towards the ceiling and then you can take a few moments just to acknowledge the feet and the ankle so you can point and flex the foot circle the ankle and then this might be a good time to introduce your strap to the practice so you can wrap the strap around the sole of the foot and then there's a few things that we want to take into consideration here so we want to continue to maintain that dropping and weightedness softness in the upper back and then we want to also allow the weight of the pelvis to fall into the support underneath us and then allowing the weight of the leg to fall towards the pelvis, softening the musculature around the bones of the leg. And then from here I can inhale, Exhale, let the weight of the pelvis fall, weight of the leg fall, softening the tissues in the leg and then drawing the leg towards me. And then as I inhale, taking the leg away from my torso ever so slightly. Exhale, drop the pelvis, soften the leg and draw it towards me. And then from here, as I draw the leg towards me, I can choose to 
let the leg fall out to its own side so I can slide the sole of the foot along the strap to open the leg out and then I can slide the foot along the strap so I can use the strap like a pulley system gently pulling on the strap with the right hand as the leg slides and crosses over the body and then we can slide that leg back out to its own side. And just take your time. And then if you'd like to, and if it's um, accessible for you uh, at this point, you can also, if you bring the leg back to the center, you can also choose to extend that bottom leg along the ground and continue to open out to the side and cross the body. So just check in and see what that offers you. If it's something that feels good or if it's too intense, then just go back to bending the knee, placing the sole of the foot on the ground. Our aim here is to release tension, not create it. And it's a lot easier to stretch and lengthen a soft muscle rather than um, the muscles or muscles that are engaged and tight. Good. And then release that strap. Give the legs a good shake. Shake it out. <sighs> good. And then let's try the other side. Take that time to circle in the ankle, flex and point the foot. Really bask in these sensations in the foot and ankle. And then let's place the strap around the sole of the foot, keeping that upper body nice and heavy and soft. Excellent. And then I can inhale here. Exhale. Let the weight of the pelvis drop. The weight of the leg drop, softening the leg. And then drawing the leg towards me, towards the torso. Inhale away. Exhale, heavy pelvis, heavy leg, drawing it towards the torso. And then at some point I can start to take the leg out to its own side, sliding the sole of the foot along the strap. Ground through that right foot. And then on your own time, you can slide the foot along the strap to cross the leg or take the leg across the body. Again, moving from side to side at your own pace, or I should say out to its own side and across the body at your own pace. And then also know that you can extend that right leg at any point, test it out, see if it's where you're at today or in this moment again if it's too much if it's too intense bend that right knee and place the right sole of the foot on the ground so again you do you do what feels right in this moment every day is different on your own time when you're ready we can release the strap from the foot and just give the limbs a good shake. <sighs> yeah, shake off that tension. And then eventually bending the knees and extending the legs on the ground, extending the arms above the head, taking a big inhale, stretching the two ends away from each other. Exhale and let the whole body drop to the earth. 
inhale lengthen the arms and the legs away from each other big stretch here exhale release into the ground and then let's draw that right leg back into the abdomen and you can keep that left knee bent or extended and then let's start to circle in that right foot that right ankle same thing as the leg extended to the ceiling let's inhale take the leg away from the abdomen exhale drop in the pelvis and draw the leg towards you inhale away exhale drop and draw and then eventually adding some circling of the leg one way and then the other so good and then eventually we'll switch sides again on your own time drawing that left knee in circling the ankle circling the foot inhale draw the leg away exhale drop the pelvis and draw the leg towards you or towards the abdomen inhale away exhale drop and draw and then maybe taking that little circling motion one way and then the other creating these circles with as little effort as possible and draw both knees into the abdomen and then sending the limbs up towards the ceiling giving them a good shake very quick shake and then bending the knees again and taking hold of the inner thighs turning the legs out and then extending that right leg rolling onto the right side of the pelvis bend that right knee extend the left leg rolling towards the left side of the pelvis and just swimming the legs from side to side stretching in the inner thighs here mm. and then draw the legs in place the soles of the feet on the ground remove your bolster just take a moment here to just check in walking the feet a little wider than hip width apart and just letting the legs fall to one side and then windshield wiper the legs over to the other side just rocking the legs from side to side at your own pace exhale dropping the points of contact into the earth And returning back to the center and let's take a moment to practice a little bit of bridge if you're unfamiliar with bridge I do have a whole video series on it I will link or add to the end of this video or you can go ahead and check out the channel and then let's roll over onto our right side and taking hold of the left foot so bending the knee taking hold of the top of that left foot bending the right knee extending the right arm so you can rest the cheek on the right arm take a breath in here exhale let the right side of the body drop into the earth pressing the top of the foot into the hand and extending or lengthening the pelvis away from the skull inhale exhale drop press and lengthen good and then let's draw the knees in towards the abdomen a little more and then opening out into the twist here take a moment to really 
exhale and settle into the twist. You can extend in that top leg if you'd like. Mm. And eventually rolling back onto the back, extending the legs. Take a moment to check in here with your relationship to the earth. eventually on your own time you're going to roll onto your left side and again take that moment to bend in the left knee extending that left arm resting onto that left arm taking hold of the right foot with the right hand inhale do nothing exhale let the weight of the left side of the body drop into the earth as you gently press that right foot into the right palm and lengthen that pelvis away from the skull feeling for the sensation in the front of that right quad right hip Keep dropping into that left side of the body. And then eventually drawing both knees into the abdomen and then opening out into the twist here. And then of course you can extend in that top leg, the right leg, getting that lovely lengthening in the outside of the leg pelvis hmm. rolling back onto the back extending the legs along the ground hmm. check in with the relationship of your body to the earth And then when you're ready, we can bend the knees, place the soles of the feet on the ground and practice a little bit of bridge once again. Just giving the hip flexors an opportunity to extend at the same time. Very useful from to prep us for gardening and also uh, post gardening because the hip flexors or the hips are in flexion for quite some time when we are taking on the task of gardening or the activity of gardening. And then eventually when you roll back down, we're gonna walk the legs out wider than the mat. And again, take a little bit of windshield wiper, little windshield wiper twist here letting the legs rock from side to side. Hmm. And then let's bring the legs back to center. And then let's roll onto one side and push up and come onto our heels so you can either sit here on your sit bones or you can sit on the heels and we're just going to take a little bit of time to stretch and release the fingers and hands so we can start by giving the hands a little bit of a shake we can make fists and extend the hands And then you can circle in the wrists while you're stretching the fingers. So one of my personal favorites here is working with each of the fingers. So starting with the thumb, I can just jostle the thumb a little bit and then stretch the thumb back. And then the next finger, jostle and stretch. Good, and work your way through each finger on each hand. Good, oh yeah. Especially if you garden a lot, 
this might feel good or it might feel super intense. So be gentle. So as you take hold of the finger and jostle it, see if you can let go of any holding in the finger. See if you can really let it, let it be loose. As loose as you can. So jiggle and jostle the finger and stretch. Gently stretch. Whew, that one's tight. And then the last finger. Good. And shaking out the hands, make fists and circling in the wrists and then we can take hold of all the fingers and gently press or stretch the fingers back extending the elbow stretching out that palm inner arm And then let's flip the palms over on the thighs. Or if you're sitting uh, directly on the ground, you can place the top of the hands on the ground, on the earth. Just be mindful here that when we take the wrists in this position, that they are quite vulnerable. So we don't want to fully weight bear. We can definitely pour a little bit of weight just to stretch it, stretch it out. But let's not weight bear. Good, and then let's shake out the hands and uh, make our way onto our hands and knees. So let's take a moment here to stretch and lengthen out the armpits and the upper body. And then let's place the right hand or step that right palm a little further out in front of us. And then on an in-breath, we can dome the spine as we exhale, let's lower the pelvis towards the heels and at the same time turning the skull away from that right arm. Inhale, come back up, dome the spine. Exhale, lower the pelvis, turn to rest the right cheek on the ground or towards the ground. Good thinking of lengthening that pelvis away from the skull. Good, and then let's bring that right hand to meet the left and just move the spine in whatever way feels good. If you wanna take some flexion, extension, circling the rib cage. And then we'll take the left hand forward. Inhale, dome. Exhale, lower the pelvis towards the heels and turn that left cheek towards the earth. Good, and moving in and out at your own pace. If you wanna hang out in the stretch for a few breaths, please do so. If you wanna move in and out a little more quickly, find your pace, your comfort level. And again, let's return the left hand to meet the right and start moving the spine in whatever way feels good for you in this moment. Hmm. Good. And then when you're ready, let's prep our blocks and bring them um, to the mat in front of us. We may use them for the next portion. And then extending that right leg behind you, rolling along the ball of the foot, you can cross that right leg over the left, rolling along the ball of the foot here, and then maybe taking that right leg out to its own side. This is a lovely, lovely, um, opportunity to stretch in the inner thigh here, rolling along the heel. Good. 
and eventually we're gonna walk that right foot in front of us to prep us for some lunging. And you can either place the hands on the block or on the ground, so you choose what feels right for you. And then on an in-breath, we're gonna move away from that front leg. And then as you exhale, we're going to move towards the front leg, lowering the pelvis towards the ground, getting into that lunge. Inhale away. And exhale, ground that right foot. Ease into the lunge. Again, moving in and out at your own pace. Good. And then let's take a moment when you come away from the lunge to take a few moments to settle into the hamstrings here. Let's say hello, hamstrings. You can hang out up here, or if it's accessible for you, you can completely rest the pelvis onto the heels. Lower the skull. Settle into the right hamstrings. Exhale, drop the pelvis, drop the leg, drop the skull. And then inhale, come back to the lunge. And then from here, you can take a few moments coming upright and really breathing into the lunge, lengthening the pelvis away from the skull. You can bring the hands onto the thighs or the thigh of the right leg. Good. And then lower the hands, release the leg, take it behind you, give it a good shake. And then let's repeat on the other side, extending that left leg back, rolling along the ball of the foot, maybe crossing that left leg over the right. Opening that left leg out to its own side, getting into the inner thigh. So take a moment here to allow the heel to settle as you roll along it. Really getting into that inner thigh stretch, nice. And then eventually walking that left leg in front of you. And again, we're gonna inhale, come away from the front leg, exhale, lower into the lunge. Inhale, come away from the lunge. Exhale, lower into the lunge, drop the pelvis, lengthen the skull. And then when you're ready, we can come away from the lunge, hang out with our hamstrings here in the left leg, really allow the heel to settle and sink. Again, you can hang out up here or lower the pelvis onto the right heel. Drop the pelvis, drop the skull, soften the left leg. Let's release the hamstrings here. Come back into the lunge. Again, you can come upright. Take a few moments to exhale. Drop the pelvis, lengthen the skull. You can crawl the hands onto that left thigh. Bask in the sensation here. And then let's release the hands onto the ground if they aren't already, taking that left leg behind us, giving it a good shake. Good. And then we can slide the blocks off the mat. 
And then from here, we can take a few counter poses. Uh, one might be downward dog, might feel quite lovely. Yeah. Can walk the dog a little bit here, allowing the skull to drop. Good. The other option could be coming onto the belly, bending the knees, and rocking the legs from side to side. And then another option here, which might feel quite lovely for the hip flexors to extend at the same time, is if I push up into child's pose, from child's pose, extending the arms out in front of you, inhale, dome the spine, exhale, lower the pelvis towards the ground, lengthening the skull away from the pelvis, inhale, dome the spine, exhale, lower the pelvis towards the heels in child's pose. Inhale, dome the spine, peel the pelvis off the heels and lower into cobra. Good, be mindful of the lower back here. Excellent. And then let's work our way into downward dog. And then you can walk the hands to the feet, feet to hands. And then let's roll up to standing. And as you come to standing, let's take our arms up towards the ceiling. Really lengthen the arms up, 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 dropping the pelvis so that we can lengthen up and over into our back bend. Drop the chin, rolling forward all the way down or as far down as it's comfortable. Exhale, let it all out. And then drop in the feet, rolling up. Take the arms out by the side, up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the arms, drop the pelvis, and take your back bend up and over. And let's roll up and down a few times at your own pace. Rolling up, arms out to the side, up towards the ceiling. Lengthen, up and over. Good. And then for this final back bend, we're gonna place the hands on the shelf of our pelvis. And I like to take my hands right inside my pants so that I get a good grip, skin on skin, and rest the heels of the palm on the shelf of the pelvis, the back of the pelvis. Exhale, drop in the heels, drop the pelvis, and lengthen up and over into your back bend avoiding any compressing in the low spine and then releasing the hands and roll forward rolling down shake it out and then rolling back up and then let's turn to face forward and then interlacing the fingers taking the arms up towards the ceiling Exhale, drop into the feet and take a side bend over to your right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, drop in both feet and lengthen up and over to the left. And repeat this on each side one more time. Inhale to the center. Exhale, drop in both feet and lengthen up and over. Good. And then take a hold of the elbows and take a side bend from side to side. You can add in some circling with the upper body. So circling one way, then the other. Yeah, just really getting into the upper body here, to the rib cage, good. And then interlacing the fingers, flipping the palms, pushing the palms forward, curve the spine, take the arms up towards the ceiling, burst the arms open, interlace the fingers, flip the palms, push the arms forward, dome the spine, arms up towards the ceiling and open the arms out. Good. Inhale, scoop, exhale, push the palms, inhale, take the arms up, Exhale, lower the arms. 
good and then let's circle the shoulders back and forward good and then maybe circling in the neck and head so take the next stretches in whatever way feels good circling in your own way good and then let's take the legs wider than hip width apart and then let's roll down bending the knees and resting the elbows on the thighs just above the knees or you can choose to take a deep squat here so this might be familiar when you're gardening this position here it's a lot easier to garden low to the ground rather than being upright and bending forward and pulling the weeds this actually puts a lot of strain on the low back so if we can garden from the squat and allow the weight of the pelvis to drop we can actually encourage some lower back health or a healthier low back when we are gardening in this position and again on our knees so finding finding yourself close to the ground getting into the earth as you take on the activities of gardening Since we are on the ground here, or low to the ground here, let's take a moment to check in with our cobra to offer some extension and lengthening in the front of the hips. Or again, you can rest the belly on the ground, bending the knees and rocking the legs side to side. So we'll conclude our practice here. You can either continue to rest on the belly or you can turn over onto your back, resting in Shavasana. Good. And just again, in whatever position you're in, let the weight of the body fall into the earth. Check in with your relationship to the ground now versus when you started your practice. So again, rest as long as you'd like. You can also choose to finish your practice sitting. That's totally cool too. I'll leave you with this final mantra. You can join me if you like from wherever you are. Palms together, hands to forehead. Think love to the lips, speak love to the heart center, be love. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this helps you with gardening, easing the body into gardening and easing the body out of gardening. Okay, so please subscribe to the channel, share this video with your family and friends, and be sure to check out the 20 minute consultation, free consultation with me for an opportunity to work together one-on-one -on -one to dive deeper into unraveling your tension and your pain to help you discover life and movement with more ease. Okay, until next time, yogis, ease into your best life. Namaste.